My ninjas, welcome back to more Let's Play Dragon Knight Warrior Adventure Quest 11 Blind. Okay, let's get out of this menu so I can move. Okay, in the last one, uh, we got to here, and then uh, I turned off the game. Did I collect this in the last episode? Uh, I turned it off and totally forgot about the door's locked tight. Okay. Totally forgot that uh, if you remove the game cart, you lose your uh, sleep mode uh, thing or whatever. And there's no, there's like nothing to warn you. Like, hey, you're about to, you're about to, uh, you're about to lose your progress. It just waits until after you do it. Then it's like, oh, you dumb, you done effed up. I mean, there's technically no way for the game to know that you're about to remove the, the thing or whatever. But I thought this was, uh, I thought I saw shiny. Maybe there's a reflection. But uh, luckily, the auto save uh, saved my butt and it put me right there. You lot, over here. Huh? <coughs> Damn it! We better make ourselves scarce. Oh, I thought they were calling me to tell me to go over to there. I was like, why would I do that? I'm trying to escape from jail, dude. That means if I don't escape, do I have to fight them? I kind of want to see what happens if I just let them Come run on. into me. What happens He's if they run into me? Hello. Uh, a group of helio. Helodian guards. I wonder if they're super tough. Uh, kind of. Oh, we got um, we got uh, we're mis we're uh, we're blue. Uh, huh. This one looks. This one's like a different model, but they have the same name. So yeah, I don't know. Okay, dudes, uh, taking hits and doing damage. Oh man, twenty-five man. You ain't want you don't you ain't want you would you don't want none of this twenty-five. Oh man. Yes, my finest sentence. I thought of it with my finest brain cells. Alright, so did we have to actually fight him? Come on, this way. Oh, they just okay. So they just stand up and then god dang it. Yes, let's not get caught on the corner. Actually, let's just run. Oh, the enemy blocks the way. Well well, well, well. Luckily, I'm pretty sure that Mr. Uh, Hooded Guy uh, probably can't get uh, killed. Oh, I should have tried to run a second time. The problem with uh, the problem with running over and over again is that you become more and more invested in running. It's a good thing that uh, dude's taken all the uh, he's taken all the uh, the crit hits or whatever. But uh, by the time you try to run like three times, it's like, well, now I have to run. Now you're invested, you know. Okay, uh, let's use heal. Uh, restores at least 25 HP to a single uh, ally. All right, heal it up. Oh, maybe I should. Uh, maybe I should just run every time, even if it takes more than one turn. Okay. Okay, I was about to say, is that the way I just came? I don't think so. I'm just gonna follow this guy. Okay. Uh, right. Snuff that torch out and follow my lead. Why am I just standing there watching him escape or whatever? Or get... Oh, what the frick? I see them over here. Well, I didn't know we were gonna have to Metal Gear Solid this shit. Alright, it's only two guys. I know I just said that we would, uh, start running more, but... Maybe... Well... I don't know, maybe you can't run from it. Well, actually, never mind. All the other fights have been um, where you see the dudes on screen. So I was thinking maybe this was like um, one of those fights that you have to do because you actually ran into the guy. All right, let's just go. Man, I was having a hard time running past his body. What am I supposed to do when that happens? Am I supposed to actually... I mean, if I, I feel like if I stand still and wait... Then the other guy is gonna um, get me from the other direction. I kind of wish there was a way to know if running is actually a thing I can do. I kind of wish you would say like, "This battle is inescapable," if it actually is. Whoa! I can't run. Oh, I have to hit X. I have to go into tactics, and then flee. Okay, fleeing does sometimes work. Oh, it puts me there. Okay, so it is his. Cone of vision actually super terrible. Oh jeez. Can I sneak up behind him and get a? God damn it! I was trying to get a. Um, I was trying to pull a corner trigger. Let's do this. Where you just um. 
if you get him from from the back or whatever, you just like sword slash him and uh, knock him down. And then you can collect a potion off their body. Or you can collect a... Uh, uh, is it a mid-tonic? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you get some kind of item off their body. Well, it would have been faster to fight him at this point. Jesus Christ. Where the hell did he go? Alright. I am not good at stealth games. I'm just going to go like this and hope you didn't... Wow. Maybe with the helmet, his vision's limited. Follow my lead. Okay. Follow my lead. Dude, shut the frick up, yo. Uh, okay, and then this way. You can't hear my footsteps. It's, that's uh, nice of the game to not make it super hard. Uh, we can get across that bridge. Light the torch again and go check it out. Wait, why? Why do I have to go? Why do I have to relight the torch? I can see just fine without it. All it does is draw more attention to us because it's a, a, a light source. These guys don't give up, do they? I know. It's almost like they're paid to do a job. Wait, why did that happen? Okay, something's going on. I was about to say, stone uh, structures are usually pretty sturdy, aren't they? I'm pretty sure that in, um, over across the pond, there's like stone bridges that are like, like hundreds of bajillions of years old. I don't exactly know how, how, uh, how long. Yeah, that's a, that's a little trick. If you don't know how, you don't, if you don't know if it's like 500 or like 2000 years old, just like make up a pretend number. But it's several hundred, at least. Oh god, he's actually dead. Okay. No, we're not dead. Looks like we shook the guards, at least. Yes, we shook them. We totally did that. Okay, so we got a heal statue. And that looks like a way We got a bitter bug. Maybe our luck's about to change. So why do you have a prison that has an exit through a cave? That has a big old giant cave exit. I mean, anybody who escapes could just jump off the bridge. And then just escape. Well, I can dash now. Sweet. Alright, where did that bitter bug go? I don't know. Alright. Um. None of these are heal, are they? I don't think so. Uh, I'm going to keep making new saves. Uh, I can never have too many saves. I was thinking about uh, turning the uh, the autosave off, but I'm definitely not doing it now. <laughs> well, I was thinking about it um, basically because when you let's play, you're always at, you know, you're the the possibility of losing an ep like a video is always like a possibility. But if you have autosave, then you can't go back and replay that that episode or whatever if it auto saved over your data or whatever but if you use auto saves and hard saves is the best way to go to make sure you got all your bases is uh covered wait there's something there yeah you mean the big giant thing how did how did uh my guy not see it wait there's something there do you see it it looks like a horse Just once, I want to see something in, like, a movie or something where there's giant rocks falling and they just land on the dude. That, like, never happens. If we stand and fight, we're dead. Let's get the heck out of here. Hey, language. Oh, man. Admiral Obvious strikes again. Hey, you see the big giant freaking dragon? Well, we should, we should run. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. You know, the thing you do when there's a giant thing that can kill you? Oh man, it's like a Mario... It's like that one Mario Party uh, minigame. Except we appear to be on a straight path. Alright. That's kind of a dick minigame. You're like running towards the camera, but then there's like these obstacles that you have to dodge and jump over and stuff. I'm like, well, you have like no time to react. Well, here goes nothing. Well, that looks like a ladder. Why didn't you just climb down the ladder? Gave it the slip. Wow. 
That's not how you give something the slip. That's... Why would you think that that would give us... that, Or that would give him the slip? Uh, I spoke too soon. We should be running. Not sitting here going, Oh, I thought we gave him the slip. Turns out we didn't. Let's have a discussion about it. If we don't get moving, we're dead meat run. Come on, quickly. Okay, it's so another escape sequence. Is one of these going to actually involve um, some kind of dodging or something? Huh, what happens if you run into an enemy? This is actually kind of cool. It's showing the enemies that like live here are also escaping. Oh, jeez. I almost got... What the hell? Oh, I got caught on the uh, the stalag jams or whatever. Damn it. I think we better skip this one run for it. Okay. Yeah, let's run. I'm pretty sure it's unwinnable. I'm going to go on a limb and say it's unwinnable. <laughs> oh, lame. I got to do the thing again? Goddamn. Come on. Quickly. I'm pretty sure as long as I stay in the middle, I should be good. Is there going to be something in the middle that's going to make me go off to the side, I wonder? I feel like those sections of... Oh, there it is. There it is. No! I feel like these sections of rock wouldn't just explode. Like that. They, like the rocks are like detonating or something. When Dragon hits him with it. When Dragon Dude hits him with his foot. Dude, the dragon was freaking right behind us. How did he not see us duck in the, into this uh, little um, crevasse? Has it gone? It has to know that we're in here. That was way too. Can it like smell us? What's that thing doing under the castle anyway? Well, whatever. We should get going. Uh, I don't know who put you in charge, Mister Bossy Sassy Pants. I guess he's not that sassy. More like obvious pants. Mr. Just state the obvious multiple times within like just a few minutes. So how the hell did that dragon get that big? He'd have to eat like a hundred monsters a day to like survive of those little dudes that were running around. Then again, maybe he'd spend 16 hours a day eating or looking for food or whatever. Aren't there animals that do that? They spend most of their waking hours either eating or looking for food. Yeah, I don't know either. How many more obvious statements can we take? Oh, let me guess. Hey, we should run away. There's people that want to get us, so we should run away. Let's make a break for it. We should run. All right. Uh, hold Y to skip. Oh, I can skip a cutscene if I want. All right. Oh, looks like our luck finally ran out. Wait, why? Oh. Well, that's water down there. Just jump in it, you puss. There they are. We've got them now. Hmm. No way back, huh? If they catch us, we're dead meat. <laughs> they have to know that we're gonna jump, right? Let's Come on. Do this. I believe in you. I believe in the luminary. I don't have much choice. Hey, just like Christianity. Well, I believe in God because I don't have a choice. You have a choice, but it's really Come shitty on. option if you don't believe Let's in him, right? Do anything stupid now. The name's Eric, by the way. The name's Eric? That's a bland name. I do like the color of that dude's hair, though. He does have a uh, Gohan hair. Boy, Eric? Boy, that's a super not interesting uh, character name. Considering that... I don't know if, like how this became canon, but I'm pretty sure it's canon that the, that the name of the person, in, like the main dude in each Dragon Quest game, his name is the number of the game so like this main dude's name is 11 and the guy from dragon quest 8 his name is 8 apparently oh this is the same scene we watched already so do i need to watch this again is this scene gonna make more sense now maybe 
I don't think so. I still don't know who either of these people are. Okay, this is the same, um, this is the same cutscene. I'm gonna hold Y to skip. Am I, like, 100% sure that we already saw this? Did it show this? I don't know. I was, like, yakking the whole time the cutscene was was going on or whatever. Yeah, we've seen this. Let's, uh, let's skip it. I don't remember seeing uh, Gemma or whatever her name is in the cutscene. I don't know. There's probably a good chance that I wasn't even hardly looking at the screen during it or something. I don't know. Because sometimes when I, like, talk, if I know I don't have to pay attention to the game, it's easier to, like, think and talk if you're, like, not looking at the screen. That's part of the reason um, when uh, Danny and Arnold are playing uh, the dudes from Game Grumps or whatever, a lot of times um, a lot of times Danny isn't like looking at the screen while he's going off into some some spiel or something. And then, and then Arnold will be like, hey, did you see that? He's like, no, I didn't even see it, you know. Up, do you say up you get? Finally. I was worried we'd lost you for a minute there. You've been out cold ever since we jumped. I had to drag you all the way here on my own. Well, I've definitely got some what do you what do they call it? CTE from that probably. But what a Oh geez, what's it called? I don't I Oh wait, no, it's not CTE. It's a thing that boxers get from getting their head hit so many times. That's why it's like if you get uh multiple concussions. Like, the damage to your brain is, like, cumulative. In fact, I woke up on the forest floor at the bottom of the cliff without a scratch on me. Amazing what a little faith can do. Yeah, but I got totally fucked up. Anyway, I guess you and me must be at the top of the King of Heliodor's most wanted list by now. Which means we can't hang around here too long. Let's go say thanks to the nun who looked after us and be on our way. Uh, a word for making a daring escape from the dungeons of Heliodor Castle and sneaking through the sewers with Eric. I feel like, um, like, it says I was awarded it. What was I awarded? I wasn't, I wasn't given anything. Was I, I wasn't, like, given an achievement. I guess I was, maybe it was? But the way it's worded makes it sound like I was, like, given a thing. Alright, strong medicine. Can I use that as is, I wonder? What the hell is this? Permanently increases magical mending by a little. Consumed upon use. Yeah, I don't even remember getting that. Uh, 50 uh, HP. Okay. Oh, I also found out that... Ooh, yeah, let me show you this. Um, when you look at your... Um, when you look at your items or whatever, you actually have two... Things. I thought that you could only keep your equipment plus whatever fits here, but you also have uh, a second uh, screen or whatever. Maybe at some point we'll unlock a third screen or something? Yeah, I don't know. That should be noise. Ah, there you are, my children. That is not the voice you would have. Friend here is fully recovered. Oh, don't worry about him. He's just fine. Hey, thanks for looking out for us. We owe you one. Well, you know, it's been such a long time since I felt the sweet touch of a young man. But if you are leaving, you must be careful on the road. It seems some dangerous criminals have escaped from the capital and are at large somewhere in the area. Oh, I shudder to think what wicked deeds they might be capable of. They're just regular criminals. They're just gonna rob shit. Is that really wicked? Criminals, you say? Dear me. That doesn't sound good. Don't worry. If we run into him, Eric will tell me to run from him. We'll be all good. My child, there were guards everywhere. They are searching high and low for the villains. And I heard that the mighty knight Sir Hendrik himself has headed to the mountains in the south with his troops. They say he means to block the road to Cobblestone, the village the fugitives came from. Oh, we're the fugitives, aren't uh, aren't we? <laughs> oh, but you must forgive me, poor lambs. I did not mean to alarm you. 
Oh, we're poor lambs now, eh? We're not part of your shitty made-up religion. Sure. Justice will be done. And until then, you are free to remain with us for as long as you please. Are we actually the fugitives? When they call them villains and criminals or whatever, I didn't think so. But then when they say fugitives, it's like, well, we are fugitives, so maybe they are talking about us. We have a few things to discuss, right? Okay, why do you gotta say it all suspicious like that? We were planning on leaving anyway. Cobblestone, eh? Never heard of the place. I never even knew anyone actually lived in those mountains down south. Is that really where you're from? I'm guessing you want to go see what's happening down there. But you need to be smart. You won't get past Hendrik unnoticed. If you're going to make it there without getting caught, you'll need to avoid the main road. And if you want to do that, you'll need my help. I know every back road there is to know in these parts. But I've got things to take care of in Heliodor first. I left a little something in one of my old haunts downtown, and I need to get it back. Is it a robo-spinning pussy? So, are you coming along for the ride? I did help you break out of that dungeon, remember? Alright, fine, but I'm not using it on you. That's the spirit. But we can't have you bringing us any unwanted attention. Ah! I've got just the thing. Here, put this on and keep your face hidden. Otherwise, you're gonna get neck. Yes, because walking around like that is totally less suspicious, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's more like it. If you're gonna be a wanted. Yeah, I was just gonna say that. It's like we totally look like a wanted person now. <laughs> Let's head north and hit town. I can't believe that they, like, acknowledged it, but yet, they, he didn't mean it, ironically. Glad you're coming along. The seer told me to stick with the luminary when I found him, and that's just what I'm going to do. Uh, did the seer also say that the luminary, uh, could use a handy every now and then, right? Okay, so that, that means he's actually in my, um, parte. Or he's with me. Now we have a party, right? I guess it could be a party of one, technically, right? Okay, why does this take so long? I guess it, they're making, like, a bigger deal out of it. Like, when you actually get, a, like, an actual person that they make a, like, a, a longer fanfare about it or whatever. Uh, a pep power is an incredible ability that can be formed by two or more party members when at least one of them is pepped up. Some pep powers uh, can only be unleashed when everyone involved is in this state. So, like, pep powers from the menu when it appears to see what exciting abilities you can unleash. Uh, depending on the tactics each character has set, they'll either perform powers automatically or wait your orders. Take a look at the traveler's tips to learn more. Oh my gosh. Okay. Can I just play the game, please? Thank you. Um, okay. Well, can I... I can just climb into the well? All right. Maybe there's like a chest or something? Huh. Wait, can I look at the, uh... Guess we got... Well, let's just check all the ways. Uh, there's got to be at least one treasure chest, right? Yeah. I feel like I've seen chests that kind of look like this before. Am I thinking, um... Uh, like, maybe Dark Cloud 2, maybe? Obviously, this is like a higher resolution version of it or whatever, but I feel like I've kind of seen that, that treasure chest style looks familiar. Oh, small scale. What could that be used for? And also got a pointy hat. Uh, maybe that's for... Maybe that's for Mr. Eric. Wait, he's got nothing on his head. Oh man, pointy hat's actually way uh, way better. Uh, so his defense is... I'll give the... Um... I'll give the pointy hat to uh, Mr. Uh, Eric, since his defense is lower. Uh, don't have equipment for the right hand. Well, I thought I had, um, wait, do I actually have to give it? Yeah, can I give him the pot lid? Okay. 
don't have any equipment for the right hand. Well, god dang, dude. Maybe he can't uh, equip shields. Wait, I already went that way. God dang. Okay, and I went that other way, so this way. Uh, tiny metal. Hardy had. Oh, uh, okay, so nothing else down here. Oh man, can you imagine the guy that had to create this whole, like, underground, like, under the well area? Just to put a couple of items. I guess the pointy hat's not bad for, like, early game or whatever. And I got it for free. And I'm still low on money, so anything, even if it's not that good, if it saves me from having, from having to spend money, then I'll consider it a good thing, you know? Like, worth it, you know? But someone had to create that entire under the well area just to put those items. It's the only purpose they served. Oh man. If I go into this menu, am I still, um... Are the enemies still gonna be, like, wandering around? Alright, what's up with Shmia? Uh, brace of buzzberries? A flurry feather? Huh. Let, let's check out the, uh, the other items I just got. They're actually spicy. Pretty plume. What is this? Small scale, uh, a fragile finger-sized, fingernail-sized flake from the fish or reptile. Oh, but so dang small! How did I uh, manage to like even see it? Let alone uh, be able to like collect it. I would have had to like scrape it off the surface with my nail. <laughs> All right, got another shiny. Oh, hello. Uh oh, is that foreshadowing of some kind? Uh, butterfly wing. This has to be some kind of foreshadowing or something. Either that or we're going to get an ability that lets us do something with them. And then we're going to have to go back through the whole game and remember all the places that we saw them. Oh, it sucks when games do stuff like that. I mean, it, it's fine if they give you, like, some kind of clue or some way to, like, help you remember them all. But if it's just like, nope, you just should have remembered all of them. It's like, okay, well, they're obviously just trying to pad out the game by making you revisit all the places you already went to. Oh man, it's super dark here. Who are those people? Like, where you saw, like, the silhouettes. Are we gonna get, like, a really small person in our party, I wonder? But, uh, yeah, I'm not sure what the, um, what the crafting items are gonna be for. Welcome to downtown I mean, maybe this game has crafting in it. I mean, I don't think any other game has, but they could they could always be introducing new things to do. Uh, welcome. To, okay. About a year ago, me and Dirk, my Dirk. partner in crime, managed to uh, acquire one of the royal family's most precious possessions, the red orb. They got wise and pulled me in eventually. I feel like this voice actor doesn't match this character model very well. Right down there is the biggest, stinkingest garbage pile in all of Heliodor. Me and Dirk buried the orb slap bang in the middle of it. After all, no one would ever think of looking for it there. Where criminal genius is, I tell you. Time to go liberate that loot. To the garbage pile. So no one's going to be suspicious that we're, like, digging towards the center of a giant garbage pile? <laughs> uh, downtown Heliodor? Was this... This area must have been inaccessible before, right? Uh, hello. Welcome to downtown Heliodor. The grimy little secret the posh folks over the wall don't want you to know about, hey? Eh? Oh, so this is, like, the poorer area. Uh, that they keep, like, separated... Uh, so, like, tourists and stuff won't be like, Hey, does this place actually suck? Uh, you ain't from around here, eh? Well, if you ain't got a reason to stick around, I wouldn't bother. What's that? You looking for the dump? Well, you're right in the middle of... Right in the middle of town for rubbish. Right? You're in the right part of town for rubbish. There's a great big pot of it right in the middle. Uh... Is there a store or something? Oh, come on, I can't even check the ones uh, hanging on the walls. Uh, okay, you're Mr. Church Guy, right? 
Okay, he gave me like a different message, so I was like, wait, is he actually gonna say something not church related? All right, let me see if there's a uh, uh, like a shop. Uh, do I can? Whoa, yes, yes. Actually, I probably won't have enough uh, muns. Maybe I'll gain a level uh, off camera since I avoided all those dudes. Plus, the in the area where, where like I rode the horse around, I didn't fight any of those enemies either. I mean, maybe I fought a couple, but like I just I stayed on the horse. I'm pretty sure for the most part. Uh, all right, there. Tell me, are you sorted for sorted for swords, man? The way these sentences are makes me like always question if I'm reading the sentences incorrectly. Uh, bristling with blades, it's a dangerous world out there, so it pays to be prepared. Uh, what would you like to buy? Um, ooh, ooh. Uh, the boomerang probably hits an entire um group of enemies, right? Maybe I should save up for that. Uh... Yeah, see, that's why it's weaker. That's the uh, that's the trade-off. It's weaker, but it hit. It can hit multiple enemies. I haven't run into any enemies where sometimes they'll have it where you can get hit. You can get attacked by like a group of like six of the same enemy. It'd be good for something like that. But I don't think I fought more than two of any enemy so far at the same time. I guess that was because I was by myself and they didn't want to overwhelm you with like six enemies when you're just by yourself and you don't have any way to multi-target. Um, I guess I don't have enough money for any of this shit anyway. Uh, hello? Alright, big ol' nothing burger. Wait, can I get in here? Can I jump up these thingies? Uh, what could possibly be up here? Oh, god dang it. Oh, controls, man, controls. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna stop here. I know, like, in episode, what, two, I think? I said I didn't want the episodes to go super long. And then that episode after that had that super long uh, King cutscene or whatever. And then that episode was, like, over 40 minutes. So, um, we'll end it right here. I'll keep, uh, I'll get that level. I'll get that level up uh, off camera. And then we'll explore the rest of this area. And we'll see what we got going on. Uh, grab the thing. And I'm not sure what's going to happen. So, I can't say. Well, we're going to grab it. And then we're going to do this. Because you never know what's going to happen. They could throw another curveball at it. So, that is going to do it for this one. If you enjoyed this video and want to support me, you can do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button, and I will see you next time. Take care. Bye.